third one is the group. Over the next side, you have to do a course which is called the DNS or the BSc in Nautical Science. The DNS is a course of one year and the BSc in Nautical Science is a course of three years. For DNS, you have to take a sponsorship from a company and then you have to appear for the interview and then your, your medical is done. And for the BSc Nautical, you have to appear for the IMUCT and after that, appearing for IMUCT, you have to score a good rank and after scoring a good rank, you take counselling and get admission into a college. There are mainly three marine engineering, sorry, we take in marine engineering and this course is of four years and for the the best choice for this is the IM in Kolkata. And the third side is the crew side. For crew side you have to be the 10th pass and for after you have to appear for the exams conducted by different colleges. And for these exams they provide a training of six months and after that you get admitted into the crew side. That's all about that. Very good. So any question and queries if you want to ask then you can ask. And questions? So from where did you get it inspiration? So I got my inspiration from a senior of mine when I was in my 11th class. I met up with my senior who is currently a third officer in Anglo Eastern. He told me about this profession and I was attracted to our this job and searched for this job on many sites, on internet, on social media and no, and after that I get in touch with this specific Marine Academy and there I get to know about more about this job. So I got my inspiration mainly from my senior. Very good. So is it easy to get? If someone prepares more, if, if someone is preparing hard... Please close the door. If someone is preparing hard enough, we can say it is easy. And if someone is not preparing hard enough, that would be hard for himself. For him, for his or so what are the what are the points on which we have to be cautious? We have to care about that. The first I would say is your speaking. You must have good speaking skills and must have good knowledge of English. This is the first thing. And the second thing is you have the you should have cleared your basics. You should have mentioned your basics of PCMs. These are the two points I will say about. Very good. If a person who is from PCM he can get this job easily. Yes, sir. Okay, so what about the salary criteria? How can we get and how much we can get? The salary varies from company to company and post to post. Like a third officer on a bulk carrier will get around 1 lakh and 10,000 per month, and the same will get around 1 lakh 50,000 on a tank person. Very good. So, what about the coaching? Is coaching necessary to get this job? For exam preparation, I don't think coaching is necessary, but for the interview preparation, you should, you must need the coaching, you must need the guidance. And this is a job where main thing is the guidance. Many people get out of the way because they don't have the proper guidance. So for the guidance, you have, you must have to do coaching for it and for your interview preparation, you must have. So do you know something about interview, what kind of the questions are being asked? Interview is all about your personal skills. They all ask about your personal skills. So what the person, what kind of person you are, what will you do when any kind, of, any kind of trouble comes in your mind, and what will you do? Many things. And they ask the things like the specifics of the PCMs and the geography, the GK, the general knowledge, and the whole topics which is currently in all people's mind nowadays. So, what are the precautionary measurement? Uh, what should we do before going for interview? For before, you should first of all wear dressed in formals with tie, black shoes, white shirt, and a black pad. Not white shirt is mandatory. You can go for blue shirt also. And the second thing, the old documents yours should be in well mannered, and the walking style of yours and the speaking style of yours should be in well mannered. Like you have to be. You should have the qualities of an officer because you are being you are going to be an officer. So you should have the qualities before the interview. These are the precautions you should have. Thank you very much. We Thank have you. got so many things from you and thanks a lot for coming with us. And uh, we ever praise your efforts and uh, well wishes in advance for your selection. Keep continue, keep you, keep learning. Thank bye you. bye.